For their long queues at the various government hospitals across the region, patients are visibly tired and stranded, waiting in those long queues for hours. That situation is as a result of a nationwide strike action by physician assistants. National President of the Association, Dr. Imo Robandana, assures of a complete withdrawal of all other services if their demands are not met by the end of this week. Let's run some checks across the country. We're starting off with Nanaya Asensu, who has been to the Tafo General Hospital. Hello, Nanaya. Hello, Gifty. Nanaya, what has the situation been like uh, at the Tafo General Hospital where you visited? Yeah, Gifty, um, there are long queues at the various government hospitals um, across the region. Um, this is because the strike action by the physician assistants has been intensified. Um, uh, the strike action only affected the OPD centers. But a new directive from their leadership have added emergency services uh, to their industrial strike. So um, according to the physician assistant national president, Dr. Imo Bandana, um, the association will withdraw all their services if government fails to meet um, their demands. So um, we have been monitoring the situation at some hospitals uh, within the Kumasi metropolis, especially the Tafu General Hospital. Mm. And the situation is almost the same. There's a long queue over there. Some patients have waited at the OPD for more than five hours at, at the time the news team go to the Tafo Hospital. Uh, so, um, if the, uh, this is uh, what has been actually transpired but, but, so at, at of, the hospital. Speaking of the effects and the impacts that this is having, we, beyond waiting in long queues, are people suffering excessively because uh, they couldn't access health care? Has somebody, for example, died? Because usually when these things happen, it means that the health care you're supposed to get, if you come in with an emergency, uh, you're going to have to wait in the queue anyway. So beyond just standing in the queue, are people suffering physical, you know, damages to themselves that they've been sharing with you? Yeah, um, visibly, you could, um, uh, one could just see that the, the patients or the, so to say, are tired, they are frustrated. Some are even sleeping in the queue, in the long queue. Um, so um, they, they are stranded and it's just taking a toll on, on, on their health. Mm. Uh, and, you know, most patients have come there to access health delivery. So you could see if they are in turn being frustrated and it's quite an issue of concern. Right. So um, uh, we, we, uh, we spoke to the uh, superintendent uh, doctor at the Tafu General Hospital about uh, uh, issues of um, emergency services. And then he said that when emergency services um, come up, they will, they will shift. Uh, the doctors at the OPD to attend to the emergency services. They have no um, uh, alternative than to shift right. those doctors uh, right. at the consulting room to uh, attend to the emergency services. And then also, uh, we, we, we actually asked him that um, when this thing gets to, to, to next week and, and also the subsequent week, what are they going to do? And then the doctor said that um, they will, uh, if, if, if it gets to the West, they will invite those doctors, some of the doctors are on leave. So they invite the doctors on leave and also um, bring on, on board more hands so that they can mitigate the situation. Okay. Now, finally, is this the only hospital uh, that's going through this? You indicated that it is across the across the region. What do we know, for example, about the biggest uh, hospital, the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital? Uh, the line is very thin. Gifty, can you come uh, again? Do, do we know the situation at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital? Um, Gifty, we, we started our monitoring from um, the Tafu Tafu. Hospital well. through, to, well. uh, through to some, some uh, health Very centers. Well. But we don't have uh, 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 what is happening at the oh, Kofanochi Hospital. At Very, that well. Time. Very well. We'll come to you as and when you have that information. Well, let's head to the Kofanochi yes. Hospital. There, our correspondent is on the line now. Um, how many patients? Uh, 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 well, let's go to the northern region, uh, rather. Martina Bogui, do I have you there? Hello? Strike so far today. They actually started last week. Right now, we're being told that there are long queues in hospitals across the country. We've been getting some updates on the Kumasi situation, specifically the Tafo Hospital, where we've heard that some patients have been in queue for the past five hours. Let's head to the northern region. Martina Bugri joins me. Martina, what's happening there? Um, my text with the Savligo Hospital. Currently, the Savligo Hospital has um, four. Um, 
two medical officers and two nurses prescribers. They are the only two people at post now. We have six uh, physicians assistants who normally would help these people. And once they have withdrawn their service, there is so much pressure on um, those that we have there. I spoke with the secretary of the physicians association in the region here. He says that the region will feel it more because uh, most of those in the rural areas are being manned by the physician's assistant. And with uh, uh, Yape here, in the morning, the people people came in, patients came in, the nurses took their vital start, but there was nobody to attend to them because the, the uh, physician assistant there is, is on strike. And so a lot of people sat for a while, they didn't have anyone to attend to them. Some sat and the others were hoping that something different would happen and then they would be attended but up to now nothing has happened so so and matina so, what we understand from your situation is that the northern region for example has a very peculiar situation where most of the hospitals you have the physician assistants actually yes, the health working centers, um, actually working health as centers. doctors H hello matina yes i can hear you so so what you're saying is that the, are these hospitals hospitals without health of, uh, of professionals at all we have nurses but they are there to take the vital task and then refer you to the physician assistant who's supposed to write uh, mm. the prescription for you and so for like i mentioned the yape uh, health center like this the nurses did their part but there was no one to do the prescription and so okay. nobody to consult so the people were just sitting down some sat for a while and had to be. Do we know if people came with diseases that, or with health conditions that needed immediate attention? Attention, and did they? They get would it? have to look elsewhere, especially right. with um, centers like to say where they have a doctor and family teaching hospital. And so, but if you want to depend on any of these health centers where the uh, physician assistants are manning, you will definitely not get treatment. Martina, thank you so much for that update from the northern region. Let's head to the eastern region where uh, Kofi Siang has been doing some checks for us. Kofi, what is the situation at the Koforidia Hospital where you visited? Well, currently at the Koforidia Regional Hospital, uh, in the morning, uh, the number of patients who came to the hospital were very high. Uh, so in the morning when you visit the OPD department, you could see uh, some of the patients standing, waiting for the attend to be attended to by a nurse or by a doctor. Usually what happens at the OPD department is that they have a lot of chairs there, so uh, it hasn't happened before that a patient will come and will stand to wait for the next person to finish before he sees uh, the doctor available. So I to the... Uh, the, the director of the facility, who is the deputy director, Dr. Kadina Newton, and he said he admitted that uh, the strike embarked on uh, the physician assistant uh, is affecting uh, their work greatly because usually the number of patients, some of the patients would be attended by these physician assistants. So now that they are on strike, it means that the doctors and the nurses would have to uh, bear the burden, uh, uh, bear the burden. So uh, it's really affecting mm. uh, their work at the Koforidia Regional Hospital. But uh, this afternoon, the situation has changed a bit. Uh, the number of cases that were at the hospital has reduced, and I can tell you that uh, it's because the hospital authorities or the doctors have been able to attend to some of these cases and they've left to their various homes. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Kofi Siang there, bringing us those updates uh, from uh, the Eastern region, Kofoidia to be specific. Let's head to the Volta region now. Ivy Setoji is standing by for us. Ivy, is the situation the same? Uh, yes, but better, better than yesterday, though. Uh, people are spending one after the other to uh, register and uh, the EC officials are also taking the opportunity to educate uh, those coming in to register to actually educate them on what to do uh, uh, on, on, on the national process. So that's good. But it's better than what happened yesterday.
there. Ivy, we're actually talking about uh, the uh, strike of the physician assistant. But let's get, get, get back here to Accra, where Roland Walker has been running some checks at the Mamobi General Hospital. Health Portal. Okay, so now you're entering consulting room three. Ah, luckily, I have a medical doctor here. Now, let me just uh, get an interaction, so to speak. And, then, and uh, she's busy just working, looking at... And, and currently, um, what's your name, ma'am, uh, your full name? Um, my name is Dr. Salamatu Atanan Tokma. Okay. And um, what are you doing now for the patient? Oh, we are doing our regular consultations. That's, I mean, it's Monday morning. The patients are coming in, so... We are seeing the patients. We came here basically because um, the, 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 we are told that there's a strike action by the physician assistant. And we know that they complement your efforts. Of course, they are not medical doctors, but then they, they are very critical to your work. Um, how many do you have at the hospital? Um, in this hospital, we have five main physician assistants, but in the meantime, two of them are on leave. So there are three that are supposed to be at post. So the three physician assistants are those on strike at the moment. Usually, what is their importance at a, a public hospital setting, or any hospital for that matter? Um, depending on the hospital, the role of a physician assistant may vary. In our hospital, mainly our physician assistants help us at the outpatient department. They help us with running our special clinics too sometimes. So mainly in this hospital, their role is around the outpatient department. W would you classify their, their role as important and why? Oh yes, um, their role is it's, it is important. Um, everybody in the healthcare delivery system has a role to play, and their role is um, is important, as I say, um, especially in a setting that you don't have enough doctors all the time. They actually we put them on our roster. They run emergency duties as well, and then, like I said, our special clinics and our OPDs. So yeah, they are important. They complement our work from day to day. Now, them on, on strike means that it's having a toll a bit on the pressure because I know Mambubi is located in a, a dense area in Accra. Yes, it is having a toll on the patients and how we see patients and the waiting time of the patients and everything because um, our OPDs, we have to restructure how we run the OPD. Um, the doctors have to do a little bit more to be able to cope with it. It's, it's, it's having quite it. So last week, the going by their roadmap of the strike action, they were still doing emergency duties. So they were still around. But today, um, we realize that they probably will not be around at all until their uh, grievances are addressed. So yes, it will have a toll on waiting time, on even probably how many hours we'll run the hospital today, whether we'll be able to keep up with running a 24-hour duty today. It all has an impact, 24 hours or not. Yes, I mean, it's because you have them on the duty roster at different times. Roland Walker, who went to the Mamobi Hospital now. Well, joining me on the phone is President of the Ghana Physician Assistant, Alaji Chief Imuro Bandana. Sir, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Have you had any responses to your, uh, the, the grievances you've raised so far, for which reason you are on strike? Thank you so much. We have not had any um, discussions with the, the Ministry of Health and for that matter, the Ghana Health Service as well. We have not had any discussions with them as of now. I am on my way to Accra, where we will be meeting the minister tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Okay. So until tomorrow, that I will know what is happening. Okay. As we speak now, the minister did the minister invite you to this meeting? Yes. The, the ministers... Um, it's actually the chief director who extended an invitation to us to meet them at 2 o'clock tomorrow. So we'll be meeting them at 2 o'clock. And what will you be telling the minister? What, do, what are you looking to present before the minister? In fact, we have presented a whole lot of uh, grievances to him. One being disparity between uh, uh, salaries between the uh, two groups which we think that equal pay, equal, equal work, equal pay, job description is, is, is obsolete. 
It's over 60 years our job description has not been renewed, which is not too good for the service and for the, the good people of Ghana. Conditions of service, nothing to write home about. We also have, uh, after school, initially it was Kintampo uh, College of Health alone, was, which was training physician assistants. Mm. But now we have a lot of universities, Kwame Nkrumah University, the uh, whole university, uh, Christian Service University, uh, Garden City University, Central University, Presbyterian University, and a whole lot. And they are all training. Meanwhile, it is, they are now turning our BSc holders who, are, who have gone in for BSc for four years, internship for one year, that is five years, but it's still the same conditions of service, uh, the same um, job description, which we think that it has to be changed. Okay. Then we come to um, uh, progression. After school, you are, you are continuously working, no progression. You have no specialty area to go and train, and you are trained, locked, and forgotten in the Ministry of Health and Ghana Health Service, which we think should change. Even in the USA, they have physician assistants, and I have had the opportunity to go to visit Utah University, and they are working. They have specialized up to neurology, up to dermatology, all the specialty areas they have specialized. Why can't Ghana be like that? We can't get there now, but we should start something. If so, you come to the East African country, most of them have trained their physician assistants. They can do emergency surgeries like cesarean sessions and co. So the maternal, maternal, maternal mortality is reduced. No. Mm. So many uh, minor, minor operations can be done by the physician assistants. I mean, in Ghana, okay. we are denied this opportunity. So you're basically we saying think, that... We think that... We think that this specialization area should be created. Okay. If you come to a national insurance, which was meant for the very poor people in Ghana. There is no discrimination in the America, uh, in, the, uh, in the, the NHI list. If you are in a health center where the rural people are poor and cannot afford, they tell you certain drugs like antihypertensive drugs, you have no right to prescribe them. But when you go to the district hospital, it is the same physician assistant who is prescribing them. We are being regulated by the American and Dental Council, and we go in for continuous uh, educational programs and we think we have been equipped with enough knowledge and nobody should uh, underreach the physician assistant in Ghana. Okay. A number of issues uh, you've, you've, you've presented here. Uh, you're talking about salary discrepancies. You want the minister to address obsolete job description, uh, conditions of service, and you want a clear path of progression for your members as well as, uh, as, well as uh, opportunities for specializations. Are these yes. issues you could have dealt with without necessarily going on strike, which is affecting healthcare delivery? Issues like issues like this should be done. Issues like this should be done within a year or uh, six months. But we have been marching time for the past two and a half to three years now. Okay. The only thing they did for us was to give us a top up at uh, the Kintampo University, and uh, you be, it will be sad to hear that that school has been operating over 50 years and it has no. It has no accreditation whatsoever. Okay, hold on for me, Mr. Bandana. Let me have a speak to the public relations officer of the Ministry of Health, uh, Robert Kujo. Mr. Kujo, thank you uh, very much for your time this afternoon here on this show. Thank you very much. Mr. Mr. Bandana is you? coming to see the minister, we understand, tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Is this a meeting you're aware of? Yes, please, I'm aware. He's laid down a number of uh, concerns that they have, for which reason they are on strike which is already impacting healthcare delivery. Uh, they yeah. want issues of salary discrepancies addressed. They want obsolete descript job description. They say that they are, they, they are able to do more than what they're being given to do at the moment. They want specialization opportunities, for example. They want uh, better conditions of service. They want a clear path of progression so that you don't just mm -hmm. stay where you are as a physician assistant uh, from the day you completed school till... I'm sure where Mr. Imuru is now, which must be well advanced stage. How is the ministry going to address all of these things tomorrow? Thank you very much, my sister. I think uh, we are all very much aware of the uh, action by the Petition Assistant Association of Ghana, uh, which uh, started last week. In fact, we 
heard the news regarding the intended black action. Uh, they gave the ministry an ultimatum of three weeks, uh, which was to start somewhere in the 10th um, of uh, uh, September. Should their concerns are not addressed, they were going to withdraw OPD services, which they started Obviously, last the week. ministry didn't do anything about the concerns they raised then. Um, what, one thing is um, the communique, the 10 point communique was issued somewhere on the 17th of August. But I don't know actually where they started counting uh, from because uh, we, according to the president, uh, the air letter was given to us somewhere a week after the release of that communique. So if anything to go by, then uh, I don't think the three week ultimatum given uh, she have started from when do you when do you think when do you think the three week ultimatum ends mr kujo uh yeah they said uh, by 24 if uh, their concerns are not addressed they were going to withdraw all services nationwide uh we're praying and hoping that this will not happen in fact we called them um for a meeting last week wednesday unfortunately they also reply say that uh, the notice was too short for them because their leadership has scattered all over Ghana M and Mr. Kujo, that it should be rescheduled. B bear with me, Mr. Kujo. I want to understand this clearly. You say that they gave you a letter that uh, indicated their uh, uh, intention to go on strike in three weeks from the day they brought the letter. When for you yeah. was that three-day, three-week ultimatum supposed to uh, uh, oh, start 10th, 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 10th of September. Well, we're beyond 10th, today 17th of September. So it means that the ministry was aware of this, did not do anything about the concerns now, they have what, raised, what, what, what and I'm now people is, are suffering because of the ministry's inaction. No, what, what, I, what I'm saying is they are, they are, they are ultimatum started counting from the 17th. They did that, they issued the communique. But the letter got us a week later, according to their own president. That was one they sent the letter to, I think, the minister's office. Or so you don't agree? Stuff. You don't agree that people are suffering today because oh, of the inactions, do, do, Madam, the inactions but, of the uh, ministry? That, that's what I'm saying. That we called them for a meeting last Wednesday, but they indicated that the letter got to them too uh, late okay. in the day, and that they wouldn't be able to communicate all their leadership to uh, come to Accra on Wednesday. So we we raised our it to Friday, unfortunately. Uh, that also couldn't uh, take place. So we have uh, planned having that meeting come tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, okay. We, we, we're praying and hoping that there will be good work from both sides. Uh, one or the stakeholders, including ourselves, uh, finance, uh, employment and labor relations ministry, fair with and service commission, and also public service commission. In fact, these, and gonna have to, these are the keys to stakeholders. Okay. One, it comes to issues of this nature. So we're praying and hoping that when we meet tomorrow, God will and everything um, will be fine so that uh, they'll call off the strike. Uh, right. Such issues, 10 point communicate. I believe some of the issues could probably be addressed immediately. Okay. Some of them could be midterm, uh, uh, or some of them could be long term. Okay. So we're praying that uh, they also, because of the, the good world, that you are bringing on board, I believe strongly. I've spoken with the president, I've spoken with the secretary, and they are ready to um, give any concessions for us to be able to move forward as a nation. Very well. So this, is, this is a strike wouldn't affect the, our position. Very well. Let me just find so, uh, out. Let, let me just find Mr. Mr. Kujo, hold on for me. Hold on for me, Mr. Kujo. Let me find out from Mr. Badana if uh, what you're, you're saying um, settles it for them, even as they wait for that meeting tomorrow. Mr. Banana, you had the PRO for the Ministry of uh, Health, which you're meeting tomorrow. All that I he's do. saying, all that he's I saying, do. and for me and for the people who are suffering because of this strike, all that they want to know is that tomorrow you sit down and this is over and done with, and people are not suffering because of these concerns. We, are we get, getting Madame, that tomorrow? Madam, we, we sincerely, on behalf of my people, I sincerely apologize for what is happening. But if the ministry had taken us, Mr. Kujo knows it, if they had taken us seriously, this program wouldn't have come. If somebody brings a letter to you on the seventh, on the seventh, make a release and brings a letter to you even on the twenty second and tell you if you don't take care, I will do this to you. 
If, if it was stones they went there to throw at the minister, minister's office, don't you think they would have reported to the police to arrest them? You would have been in jail by now. Oh, yes, so we haven't done that. And we are telling them the conditions under which we are working, it is not good. He knows, Mr. Kujo knows very well that the training, the first institution that the ministry established around 1969, as of now, hasn't got proper registration. Most of my people have been thrown out by the American Dental Council when they finished the BSC in Kitambo that they were going to be, uh, to be inducted in the American Dental Council, into the American Dental Council, which is a, a, a regulatory body for the physician assistance, has no very, very good um, registration. So, so Mr. Banana, tomorrow, round, tomorrow... The, the ministry goes around and, and, and be, be regulating universities and making the people to make sure that the uh, standard, uh, the regulatory bodies get proper regulation. Meanwhile, our you own university has no regulation. So is, it, is, it not, is it good? What, what, tomorrow. And, and I will look out with our conditions of service. We think that we have been going there and going there. Sometimes when you take a letter there and you even go back, they will have to sweat before they get it. Sometimes you have to produce another copy. We think that they have They, they have misplace people, your letters. Ministry, so you believe that the ministry... People, the ministry does not take serious, and we think that we should let them know that we are equally important in the Ghana health service, and for that matter, the health delivery uh, service in, the, in, the, in Ghana. It is not one person. It is, it, it is that we all contribute to make Ghana right. a well-living, right. a well country to so, live so, in. So, so gentlemen, I need to wrap up this conversation, but Mr. Mr. Bandana, your concern is that the ministry has taken you for granted for way too long. Mr. Kujo, your for final word. Long. Your, your, fi long. your final word. This is certainly a disposition that my, they're bringing to the table. To the, they're my, bringing my, to the table tomorrow, Mr. Kujo. What they're coming to the table with tomorrow is that, look, there are times that we even bring you letters and we try to follow up on the letter and you can't find the letters even in your files. So you're taking them for granted. That is certainly not a position to solve the problem. Is the ministry going to take steps that will solve this problem tomorrow once and for all? Please make that your final word. Please, sure. when, they, when all the stakeholders come together, I believe we're going to take the uh, issues one after the other and uh, deal with it. Uh, probably they see which okay. ones could be addressed immediately, those that could be handled maybe in a, a medium term and a long term. We we'll, we'll look at all that. But okay. we're going to make sure that um, we do all that is possible to make sure they call of the strike. Okay. So I believe something good will come out tomorrow. But Mr. Kujo, whilst you're believing, I'd like you to make a, an assurance to the people who are suffering because of this strike, an, an assurance of what they should expect tomorrow. Yeah, in fact, uh, let me assure the good people of Ghana that uh, tomorrow we will do everything humanly possible to ensure that the right action is called off. I keep saying that too many people are already dying in Ghana, and we wouldn't allow this to affect our health care service delivery mm. as we move forward. And as we all know, the important role these our brothers and sisters uh, provide okay. to health care service in Ghana. All so right. uh, let me apologize sincerely to the people of Ghana, those who have uh, been inconvenienced uh, because of this strike action. And we, we, we pledge that come tomorrow, uh, everything will be fine so that uh, the strike action will be called up. We'll be here to tell the whole world if that did happen uh, tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Kujo. Mr. Banana, your final word. I know thank you've you. already apologized to people, and I don't know yeah. if the apology would help them. Uh, but your our, final our word. Our final word is that we have a lot of respect for our ministry. We have a lot of respect for the Ghana Health Service, and we have a lot of respect for uh, all hospitals and health centers in Ghana. And we, uh, we are expecting that tomorrow it won't be go and come again, because any time you go there, it is go and come. And we are also pleading that all the things that need, uh, needed to be done should be looked up tomorrow. Those which can be done immediately should be done, and those in the short term, and the long term should be done. Okay. But we don't think want this type of frustration in the in the system for PA. Okay. We, we, we think that tomorrow, and we are also pleading that the, the, the medical superintendents and, um, and uh, in charges of facilities who are intimidating our people should stop. That mm. is the message I want to give. Thank you and very much, gentlemen, it, uh, yeah. uh, uh, for your time here on the show. Uh, Mr. Bandana there speaks for the physician assistants who are on strike. And we also spoke to the health ministry, the PRO, uh, Robert Kujo.
They are meeting tomorrow and hopefully that uh, strike action will be called off. We'll be here to bring you that and some more. This is The Pulse with me, Gifty Ando Apia.